Hi there and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I am Byron and we are on the Worm's Tooth, which is some sort of a glacier. But I overlooked something in the Got last it. video. Because here is a bridge. A very flimsy one. The bridge is in poor shape and may collapse. You cannot cross it. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. So we return to that spot. <coughs> that information uh, will come in handy. So, I say we go in here. Hi. Not know you. What want? What you want here? I'm here to see your leader. Well, the <laughs> Earthling, bring me to your leader. <laughs> That's always a good answer. You want to see Karish? He leader. Yes, take me to see Karish. Who's Karish? Oh, yeah, those things hurt you. They give you an, an, an ice attack somehow. I greet you. I am Karish, leader of the Salamanders. Who are you? An adventurer. An adventurer? Forgive me, but I doubt you are an adventurer. No seeker of fortune could journey here unscathed. Uh, no, you are more than you seem. A spy, perhaps? Come to check on me? Yes, he has been known to hire those of your race. Why has he sent you? Um, who is it that you think I work for, Karish? Markov would be my guess. Would you care to confirm that belief? No, not really. Believe what you will. Very well. Play your game of deception, but know you this. I know your master. In time, I will have an answer. If not from you, then him. So tell me, why are you here? I would like to ask you some questions. Then ask, who are you again? I'm Karish, leader of the Salamanders, as you well know. Okay, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm awaiting orders as instructed and nothing else. Why do you ask? Has someone reported otherwise? Am I suspected of something? You seem nervous. Why? Of course I'm nervous. I know who you serve and therefore have good reason to be. Can we get on with your questioning? Yes, we can. Uh, I have come seeking the one in charge. Ah, I see. Well, Craig Frostbeard, Frostbeard is dead. His son Jorrel now rules. I did nothing to aid the son in killing his father, I assure you. Why should I care if you aided Joel in the killing? Hmm. It is well known that the master chooses his lieutenants himself. Joel's actions could be deemed treason. I want it understood by you and your master that I had no part in that matter. Point taken. Where can I find Joel? In the cave caverns to the southwest, of course. The fool sits upon his father's throne with impudence. Seek him there. I have more questions for you. Why are there dead bodies strewn about here? Slaves. They revolted. We had to slay most of them, but a few managed to escape to the level below. How did they manage to escape you? The room below uh, suddenly became too hot to bear. We had to flee back here or perish in the confusion that followed the slaves. No, or perish. Do full stop. In the confusion that followed, the slaves bolted for the stairs. A few made it, but their freedom will not last long. They are trapped down there. Trapped? How so? The exit to the surface is locked as they have nowhere to run. Also, they have no supplies nor do they have the means to gather any since I have trolls patrolling the glacier. Eventually they will starve or return to us. All we have to do is wait. Hmm, it occurs to me that I could use your aid in this matter. What is it uh, that you think I can do for you? <coughs> Sorry, can I drink something? <clears throat> the slaves of, are of no consequence to me. They will return to us or they will die. However, the leader of this revolt has made me look bad in the eyes of my people. For this he must pay. Go to these slaves and gain their confidence. Once you gain that confidence, find their leader and slay him. I um, yum, yum, will consider it. Very well. Take some time to think about this. Come to me if you change your mind. Then I will say farewell. Very well. You are my guest. Feel free to look around. We will find nothing out of place here. Then I will say farewell for now. Okay, and we have to be careful. Uh, right. Whenever we come close to one of those glowing uh, fire salamanders, we 
we're gonna take a frost damage. Oh yeah, I attacked him. It's not really like an attack, it's just, you know, it's the nature. It's not like they're doing this on purpose. And, I don't know, the, the stupid thing is, um, take a look at Gold Mod. Uh, we have this protection from, no, that's not what I want. Protection from fire, uh, resist fire and cold. But it doesn't give you, a, like, a total protection, just it, you know, it uh, lessens the effect somehow. And then we have protection from fire. That's very good. But against fire, you know. Then we have protection from lightning, which is also nice against lightning. But I have nothing that will protect me from cold. And Zeldana doesn't have any spells, mage spells, that do that. That's weird. I apparently have all the level 2 spells that you can get, because I guess the book is kinda full now. Uh, what's that? Protection from normal missiles, yeah. I probably have all the level 4 spells. Hmm. So we can uh, use the resist fire and cold thingy. Um, this is where we came from, yeah. What's that? Uh, this frozen fuel <laughs> contains... Fuck it. Two sharks. Their stance is almost lifelike. As if they were frozen in mid-stroke. Okay. Yeah, well. So we have to rely on the um, resist cold and fire thingy and we can climb down here, which is nice. <laughs> Try not to, yeah, but whatever. And here are those uh, slaves. I'm on it. This is an important one, Soth. Hi, Soth. My name is Soth. Is there something I can help you with? May I ask you some questions? Certainly. What do you want to know? Who are you again? My name is Soth. No last name, just Soth. Why is that? It's a custom of my people. A man earns his last name rather than having uh, it given to him. I haven't earned my name yet. Interesting custom. Where are you from? I hail from the small village outside of Orkney. Orkney is located at the other end of the spine of the world mountains. Anyway, my village is a small place. I don't think it's made it on the maps yet. I see, let me ask you something else. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Well, I fancy myself to be a bit of a scholar, so I'm trying to go through some of these books and learn a bit from this place, uh, a bit about this place. Have you had any luck? Yes. It's hard, it's hard reading, but I've pieced a few things together. What did you learn? It seems that this entire complex is a temple dedicated to Duke Marin Brightmantle. I'm not familiar with that name, who is he? From what I can gather, he is a dwarven god of scholars, inventors and explorers. He is not well known and frowned upon by some of the other gods. They consider him to be a bit whimsical, I guess you'd say. Anyway, Duck Maran felt that the dwarves should get out and explore the world more. I see. What else can you tell me about this place? A brilliant architect known as Alconos the Visionary built this complex. He was a devout follower of Duck Maran and took offense that his deity had no formal temple, so he petitioned the king and was granted permission to construct one. During the construction he became known as Alconas the Mad. Why did they call him that? Well, apparently most of the dwarves wanted to just bore a tunnel through the glacier and build a small temple in the mountain on the other side. Alconas would hear nothing of it. Instead he began constructing on a grandiose scale, and here's the result. If the dwarves thought him mad, why did they not stop him? Oh, they tried. Now, I may not have the lineage exactly right, but it appears that Alconos was related to the king at the time. He was either a nephew or a cousin, I don't know which. In any case, the king couldn't admit that one of his relatives was a brick shy upstairs. <laughs> it would be a bad reflection on him. <laughs> Interesting. Let me ask you something else. How did you come to be here, Soth? I was on my way from Orkney to East Haven. Raiders waylaid the caravan I was with and I was knocked unconscious. When I woke, I was here. I've never heard of Orkney. Okay, we already had that. Thank you. Have you examined most of the books here? Yes, I have. It didn't take as long as you would think because most of them are so damaged as to be unreadable. It's a shame too because the few that are readable are excellent works of dwarven on dwarven engineering. 
Well, there's a rope bridge near here in danger of collapsing. Could I learn to repair it uh, using some of the books here? That's, because, that's why it was important to go to that bridge before we came down here. I don't really know. I suppose it's worth a try, though. Let me see. Bridges B. Yes, here you go. This one covers the basics of suspension and such. Good luck. And we get 112,500 Wii experience points. Thank you, Soth. Let me ask you something else. Uh, actually not. We talked to you enough. Yeah, and we got a book. I don't know whether we really need a book or we have the knowledge now. This ancient work is a treatise on dwarven engineering techniques, although it is written entirely in dwarven language. Someone has inserted translated notes in several places throughout the book. This particular volume contains a detailed analysis on the construction of suspension bridges. Yes. Awesome. Moving on. Okay, I'm coming. Leave me be, I have nothing to say. Okay, I guess I want to something, somebody with a name then. Uh, slave, slave, slave. Gareth, you have a name, I'm going to talk to you. <coughs> Sorry. Greetings, I am Gareth. Oh my, you are armored, armed and armored. Have you come to return us to slavery? No, I'm not here to enslave you. Thank the gods, then perhaps would you agree to help us? We are in, desperate, in a desperate situation. What's wrong? The people you see here are all slaves. Recently we escaped our masters and fled here to this room. Who enslaved you? I believe they are called frost salamanders. They are humanoid they have humanoid torsos, reptilian heads and serpentine tails. They have an aura of cold about them and seem to thrive here in the glacier. I see, how did you manage to escape? That is a long tale, will you listen? Yes, please begin. Very well. We were held captive in the building directly above this one. It appears to be some sort of museum. There are numerous display cases showing specimens of aquatic life, all of which has succumbed to the cold of the glacier and frozen solid. Wait, if your former masters are so close, why do they not come and just come and get you? The temperature here is hot enough to cause them pain, and thus they shun this place. I see, go on. There was one room within the museum the salamanders avoided, and we were ordered never to enter there, so naturally we began to wonder why. We did our best to try and sneak in to see what it was the salamanders feared, but with little success. Finally, a woman named Vera managed to do it. What did she find there? Ancient machinery, really old stuff, most of it in ruin. However, there was one device that emitted a soft glow of warmth. Vera realized that the warmth must be why the salamanders avoided the area. She also concluded the display of the museum had not always been frozen. Perhaps the machinery was what kept the cold at bay in the past. Interesting conclusion, please continue. Vera felt um, that this was the chance of a lifetime. There was no way to know if either, or anyone el if either she or anyone else would ever gain access to the room again, so she decided to take action. She began to fiddle with the dials and knobs until suddenly an indicator began to pulse with a steady light. At once the room filled with a warmth glow and the hum of power. Quietly she returned to tell us of her discovery. I see what happened next. At first nothing. For days we waited, always expecting the temperature to rise, but it never did. We had finally given up hope uh, when just yesterday a commotion started and the salamanders fled this room in a flurry of confusion. Where I saw this as our chance uh, at freedom. We could not allow the salamanders time to reorganize and cut off our access to this room, so she yelled for all of us to run to the stairs that led here. Many died in the attempt. We are the few who survived, if only Vera were here. <sighs> Vera's not here? She did not escape with the rest of you? I'm sorry, but no, Vera never made it down here with the rest of us. The last I saw her was a wave of salamanders between her and escape. I fear she's dead. I'm sorry to hear that, Gareth. You mentioned being in a desperate situation. Can you tell me about it? We have no food or water. We are in the heart of enemy lands. We will surely die if we stay here. This the maddening thing is uh, we have discovered another exit that leads back to the surface, but it's locked and we do not have the key. It is probably in the hands of the salamanders. Yes, we believe that Karish, their leader, has the key. Will you recover it for us? Hmm. Yes, I will try to get this key for you. Your bravery and compassion are beyond compare. I do not know what to say other than thank you, which seems hardly enough under the circumstances. Please recover the key quickly. Our fate is in your hands. I will. Farewell for now. And I guess we can loot this table and get a note. What does it say? 
Note to Karish. Karish, Karik Frostbad is dead, no thanks to you, and I now hold his badge of office. I, Jarl Frostbad, am now numbered among the six chosen of the master, but actually it's down to five now. Uh, once my plans have come to bear fruit, I will have access to the master himself. You would do well to remember that from this day forward. Worm. 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 Also know that your lack of aid has not gone unnoticed. Only your silence in not reporting this to the master has kept you alive. When the time is right, I will tell the master that I have taken my father's throne. Until then, you will remain silent or you will die. Those walls you hide behind will not save you from my wrath. Betray me and I will crumble them about you and crush the life from you, Jorrell. Oh, he sounds like a nice guy, doesn't he? Okay, and there's an exit here. That leads to that place, okay. This niche holds a statue of a male dwarf holding a workman's hammer. At the base of the statue is a plague proclaiming him as Duke Maren Brightmantle, the Tinkerer. And there's an another exit down here, I guess. Hello, exit. It was here. It's difficult to find. Damn. Got it. And we are down here. Done. Okay, so uh, those two um, entries actually we get that one, and the one above you actually lead to the same place. The game is pretty linear. So I guess we can't get lost. So we can I'll handle go it. up again. I'll handle it. And up here. Ow! Ah, dang it! Ready. Yes. Whatever you Everyone say. I'm here. Back. I'm off. Here. I'm on it. For what time? Okay, yeah, don't get too close to those. Um, yeah, I will send a thief now to scout ahead. I think I still have that mantle of coming storm. It will probably... you can't use it because you have that armor. Hey, yeah. But I don't think you will have to fight now, so... This will give you some protection. Let's see. We cannot save at that time. Fine, then don't. Let's see whether that is enough. Apparently, it's enough. As you can see, it's a huge level. What's that? A winter wolf, I guess, here. Yeah. They have that annoying cone of cold attack, but right now they're peaceful. That's not good. You're not supposed to attack this one. Fuck it. Ah, no. Oh no, is that really the last save? No, that is the last save. Ah, oh, dang it. Ready. I'm on it. Oh, we have to do all that again. Okay. Here. Okay, um... This is annoying. 
I thought I would be able to do it with just a thief. See what I can do. Ah, no, yeah, he is always now. Nah, doesn't matter. I the whole party comes up here. Orders? Agreed. I'm here. Consider it done. Yes, my pleasure. I am your man. I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's see how that works. You should stay where you are. Okay. Cannot save at that time. By every god and his mother, you are the last thing I, I expected to see step around the corner. Who are you? I'm a friend. Really? Mind telling me how you got past the Salamanders? Their leader think I'm a spy uh, sent to check on him. I did nothing to convince him otherwise. I see. Well, if I were you, I would continue with that deception. It could save your life here. Perhaps. May I ask you some questions? I don't know. I would like to trust you, but I'm not sure I can. You need to place your trust in someone. Why not try me? Very well. Ask what you will. Who are you? My name is Vera Elders. I spoke with a man named Gareth. He wove uh, quite a tale about a woman named Vera. Would that be you? Yes, I know Gareth. You say you have spoken with him, so he and the others escaped? Um, they are safe for now, but cannot get back to the surface. They've asked for my help. By all means, please help them. I cannot rest until I know they are safe. Please go now, okay? Are you hiding in shadows? Uh, leaving, leaving shadows. What the fuck? Okay, so we go back to that guy um, of you know the, the leader of the frost salamanders and try to get that key. I think he was somewhere around here. So apparently uh, the cloak is working. Hey, stay. No? Where is he? Oh, it's Carish. Oh, yeah, well, it would be nice if the name would dis be displayed, you know, below you. You have returned. What can I do for you? I want the key that unlocks the exit to the surface. I have the key you speak of, but I'm reluctant to give it up. There are circumstances that... Yes, I'm aware of the slaves. I will take precautions to prevent their escape. Very well, see that you do. If those slaves escape, I will hold you personally responsible. Here's the key. Thank you, I must be going now. And we get 60,000 XP. Awesome. Very well, you are my guest. Feel free to look around. You will find nothing out of place here. Awesome. You just gave up the key like this? Yeah, that's cool. Moving on. I guess we can go Got down it. again. Done. Arm up again. You have my attention. And say hi to him. Gareth, I have seen Vera. What? Where is she? Is she alright? She's safe and in hiding. That is all that I can say. Oh wait, I think I forgot something. Uh, load. Dang it! Ready. Alright.
Yeah, well. Yes, very well. I'm here. Consider it done. Here. Got it. Oh, what easily done. Let's see what you can make it without the cloak. I didn't try to succeed it. If I have just tried to avoid you, that would be enough, I guess. I'll talk to you. What do you want? I was wondering what you're doing. Sometimes I hear noise down the hall. I go look, but nothing there. I not know what's going on. I worried. Uh, this is an old building. It could be settling, and that is what you hear. Yes, could be, but I not know. Would you like me to take a look? Maybe I will find something. Yes, you look. You come back and tell me what you find. I wait here. Okay. And don't move around, you stupid fuck, or you will see her. Okay. Nothing new. No, 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 no. Stay here. Stay here. I've been down there. I found nothing that you should concern you. You worry for nothing. You are very welcome. Farewell. Okay. And you go back again. Okay. And we get 60,000 more experience points. Which is not bad, I guess. Orders? Got it. And we leave. So, Understood. Okay. I wanted those 60,000 XP. Now we talk to him again. Garrus, I've seen Vera, she's safe and in hiding. 60,000 more. Okay. I have been trying to get the key to the exit from Karish. Yes, have you found the key? We desperately need it. Yes, I have the key. Oh my, you have done it. I will tell everyone to prepare to leave here immediately. Thank you so much for what you have done. You're welcome, Gareth. Farewell. We get 60,000 more XP. And Storm leveled. Okay, sadly no weapon proficiency, but then again, maybe another spell. Oh no, he probably has two level one spells. Isn't he great? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I guess the ice salamanders won't be happy uh, about us, you know, exiting away, you know, opening an exit for those humans. But then again, you can't have everything. I do wonder, should we buff before that fight or not? Let's see what we can do it without. <laughs> Quiet. Damn it. Kill it. You I suppose I'm free well. to do your dirt. Hey, your both of you move the fuck back. Now. I'm listening. Okay, this one is down. Death comes for you. Yeah, like I thought, they're hostile now. It's not much of a big deal. We get four thousand for a frost salamander. That's not bad. It's a greater ice trout, okay? And you they die, this? you know, we don't have to attack them with uh, fire. That's nice. So we form up Agreed. here. And we get loot. Gems. Uh, leg? No? You have my attention. Understood. Give the word. You could heal the paladin. 
Act maybe a you know for the two frontline characters a resist code and fire would be nice. Yes. Okay, and I think we're going to take a break here and continue on the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. When we will slaughter more uh, ice frost salamanders. Bye.